Hello everyone, welcome back to BioScholar. Today, let's explore a fascinating concept in biology, symmetry. Have you ever noticed how a butterfly's wings or a starfish's arms appear perfectly balanced on either side? That's symmetry, and it's not just beautiful, it's biologically important. In simple terms, symmetry refers to how body parts are arranged around an imaginary line or plane. It's one of the key features scientists use to classify organisms. Why? Because the type of symmetry an organism has can tell us a lot about how it moves, how it feeds, and even how it evolved. So, let's break down the different types of symmetry and understand what they reveal about the living world. To classify and organize living organisms, scientists often use the terms symmetrical and asymmetrical. If an organism has a random, a regular shape with no clear pattern or balance, scientists call it asymmetrical. This means the organism does not have a defined body plan. There's no way to divide it into equal halves. A classic example of this is a sponge. On the other hand, if an organism shows a repeating or balanced pattern, it is said to have symmetry. This means its body parts are arranged in a specific, organized way, often around a line or a central point. So, the shape and arrangement of body parts, whether random or patterned, help scientists decide if an organism is symmetrical or asymmetrical. Now, if an organism shows symmetry, it can be of different types depending on how its body parts are arranged. If the body can be divided into two equal mirror image halves along a single plane, just like our own bodies, it is called bilateral symmetry. In this type, there's only one line that divides the body into right and left sides. Most animals, like humans, fish, and insects, show bilateral symmetry. But if the body can be divided into multiple equal parts around a central axis, like slicing a pizza, then it is called radial symmetry. This means the body shows more than two symmetrical sections. Organisms like starfish, jellyfish, and sea anemones display radial symmetry. To summarize, if an organism has a random, uneven body shape, it is called asymmetrical. But if it has a balanced, repeating pattern, then it shows symmetry, and that symmetry can be either bilateral or radial. This is one of the many important characteristics scientists use to classify animals. Now, on this slide, you're seeing a variety of animals. Your task, look at their body shapes and classify them. Do they show bilateral symmetry, radial symmetry, or are they asymmetrical? Tell me your answers in the comment section below. And if you want to learn about the five kingdom system in the same fun and visual way, click on this video right here. And I see you there.